In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Classic-y thread-stitched notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the classic -y thread stitched notebook. This is a very affordable notebook. It's an A5 size and we get 80 pages or 40 sheets. And the price for this is $4.50. And it's a pretty good notebook for that price. Now we have like a textured paper cover here with, which has a little bit of a, a coating on it. And then we have a fabric tape along the, the spine. And on the back we have Classic key by Mitsuo or Oo Mitsuo. I don't know how you say that. It's not really anything special on the front here. And then going into the pages, we have a seven millimeter rule with a relatively thick gray ruling. It goes all the way to the sides. And if you can kind of see from the edge here, we have a saddle stitch. So it really is just one signature down the middle of the, the notebook. And we do have a blue ribbon bookmark here, and you can see the saddle stitch right here. Now, I don't love this construction, but for $4.50, I can't really complain. And because there isn't too many pages, it does lay relatively flat. It's not the most, but I really can't complain at $4.50. Now this has a white OK Fools paper which is a really pretty paper. I don't know if it'll show up. It usually doesn't on camera, but they have very beautiful watermark and there's a laid pattern to the watermark where it's a very pretty paper to write on. One of the things I did think that was strange about this notebook is that the margin on the bottom is bigger than at the top. That's, I think, unusual. Now, in terms of the writing test, oh, I guess this was in the plastic sleeve that this thing came in. You can see it's made in Japan and thread stitch, surface finish, varnishing. That's talking about the uh, cover here. But going to the, the paper test, we do see a little bit of feathering on the Pilot Parallel pens, but the rest of the pens look really quite nice. Now, coming to the back, we do have typical OK Fools paper performance. We definitely got bleeding on the Pilot Parallel pens, and then we did see bleeding on the Lummy BB uh, Italic, the 1.9 millimeter a little bit, the Auto Hoot Design 7, Scribo Feel, all of the rollerball pens. The gel pens look like they did pretty good except for the Pilot Energel, or Pentel Energel rather. Fine liners look like they did pretty well, and then the Troublemakers caused some problems. So, like most OK Fools paper, it's not the most fountain pen friendly, but I think it's pretty acceptable performance. Now, if you are using flex nibs or really juicy nibs, it may become difficult to write on both sides of the page. But for me, I think this is pretty nice to write on and the paper is very pretty in person. So I enjoy writing on this paper. Yes, the performance isn't perfect, but it's still quite nice to write on and it's not so bad that it's unusable. So what are my pros and cons for the classic -y thread stitch notebook? Biggest pro is it's really cheap, $4.50. Made in Japan, A5 size notebook, 80 pages. It's That's pretty good. I definitely like the white OK Fools paper. This is a very pretty paper in person. It has this laid watermark in addition to the K and super fine uh, watermarks that are on there. Very pretty paper. It is nice to write on. It's not, in terms of cons, not the most fountain pen friendly though. You will see bleeding and feathering on a lot of different pens. For me, it doesn't bother me, but I mean, if you're writing with really white nibs, you might have a hard time writing on both sides of the paper. It's a saddle stitched construction, so you just have one seam down the middle. Not the most lay flat, but there aren't that many pages and you know the paper cover is does have some give to it so with a little bit of effort you can get it to lay 
pretty flat, but it's not the nicest thing to use because you're essentially just one big 40 page signature there. I would also say that the ruling is definitely thicker than I like, but that's a pretty minor gripe. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.